bird. Woo! About Nolan Ryan, or about uh, Randy Johnson, that bird. Yeah, everybody. Stay safe, bird. Where that mound is, uh, right about there, down past that 565 feet. About time. First wide open bomber hole I've played in a while on this course, on both of these courses, I think, but finally get to unleash my true potential and smash this 285 foot 12 speed driver. I'm gonna try to err to the right more so than the left because I don't want to go in that crap. That'll be good. Oh, went around the tree and didn't hit anything. Hole 16, 233 feet with a tailwind, so why not? I'll run my other entropy at it. Why not? Oh, very close. Maybe an envy. Just didn't give it enough time to fade. backwards off that. We're trying to hyzer this downward because of the wind. Okay. After my forehand has not been good, I'm going to really swing it out and try to get it to land around the telephone post. I need to get some cheap DX or you know baseline plastic putters. This is actually almost parked. I didn't realize how close the telephone post was uh, to the basket.
pulled it over to the right. Distance was absolutely perfect. Here, I'll make some for you. Four to six weeks later. So, we're going to clean off the short T pads here at Wright State today. Hopefully my microphone's working. This is a forehand hole for me. We'll throw a forehand second. Damn. All right. Uh, that actually might be right at the basket. <laughs> All right, we have to make sure this stays close. If we miss, is a downhill putt. This is definitely a bonus birdie hole too, over here. It's not one that we get every time. Mm. Give it another run. That's all right. All right, that's all right. That's putting, that's mid circle two. Let's go backhand. On backhand, I think I'm gonna stick with that echo. I just gotta throw it really hard, play the hill and get it to glide down there. All right, that's in circle one. All right, let's see if we can make a circle two putt here. Ah, chain tickler. So that echo should be right here in front of us. I can see the landing, yep. See the landing zone here. I'm gonna see if I can flex my time lapse up through this left side a little bit. Get it to bail out at that big tree up on the left. We hit the big tree on the left, which is fine. We should be able to basically pitch up, take a par from there, which I'll be happy with. All right. Now it is a little tight. Honestly, I'm gonna go, this is honestly better for backhand in there, but I don't like, I don't like backhand. So we're gonna go the right side on a big, big Annie, kind of get it to just crash down in there with this proxy. Just like that. Now it'll put us at about 10 feet. And we'll take another par, but this is a good par. Not an easy hole. Hey, can finally, finally make a putt <laughs> when you put it, when you put it this close. Even if you have the glove. All right, go with the plasma envy. There it is. Come on. Okay, well that's clean. So you probably go with the entropy most likely. That's extra tight, man. I got a backside flex line. You probably can't see it on the camera, but there's other holes I can give you shots on. But I got a little pitch here that if I throw this right, it could float up there and come out of it at the basket. And I think that's my best shot for birdie. If I miss, I should still be able to par. Looking good so far. Come out, come out. That should be parked. 
And I forgot I still got this zoomed out. It's hard for me to see too because of the glare of the sun, all these complaints. All these complaints, but I'm gonna regret this decision because I have to walk back up. I don't like playing with sunglasses during the winter either because they fog up so easily. That'll be all right. Flex it around the tree. That's really good, actually. All right. Well, you can't draw it up much gooder than that. That would basically be a tap out birdie on hole 10. A few moments later. Yep, we got a solid 25 footer here. All right. Um, ugh. Ah, just a tickle. Yep, that's... That's exactly what I want to do with the time lapse, but I'm afraid to do it. Because I about fell. Oh boy. Right off the top of it. Skip over there. He'll give me a long circle one putt. We'll go with the servo on backhand. See if I can turn it up there without flipping it over in this wind. And that's parked. So, yeah, I mean, this is a 18, 20 footer. Does have the headwind though. Nice and low over the rim. That servo is right here, which is sweet. You can see the path where it skipped up. Yep, that's all right. But with about 180, just take an entropy, throw it up there, try to try to keep it a little bit low because of the hill. Go in. Ooh, almost put it in. I don't know why I always do that. Anytime I get close, it's ooh, ooh, ooh. I notice that when I'm editing. But other than just that time right there, I never notice it when I do it live. But I'm editing, I'm like, why am I always saying ooh? Ooh, oh, I do declare, go win, Mr. Disc.